features a single point responsibility on the epc contractor everything understand this everything related to the project basically the designing engineering procurement construction commissioning testing everything basically is the single point or sole responsibility of the epc contractor so in the event there is an issue arising out of or in connection with the project employer will only need to refer the said issue to the contractor and the contractor will be liable for any defect any problem any kind of rectification that needs to be done okay on this so everything basically depends solely on the contractor so the contractor has a sole responsibility regarding all the deliverables under the project something malfunctions something wrong a problem occurs which needs cure everything needs to be done by the contractor okay even when there is a consortium comprising of several entities there there sometimes there are uh, con- consortium epc agreements also like for example lnt and some other construction company together are basically uh taking in the project now epc contractor basically has in this case if there is not a single contractor involved there will be a clear declaration as to joint and several liability basically of the con- contractors to the, towards the employer or the owner of the project okay so both in cases of consortium or a single contractor whichever be the case everything related to the project the the sole responsibility will be on the contractor or contractors as the case may be generally the contract price understand this okay because it it this point i know might be a little confusing okay the lump sum contract price is fixed okay but that does not stop the contractor to reimburse itself for any incidental expenses that may occur so in the incidental expenses reimbursement is not a part of the contract price together right the contract price is kind of fixed since the beginning and that is the price which is basically paid at the end of the project if there is any reimbursement which is basically some incidental costs that need to be reimbursed that will not come under the definition of your contract price and that can be actually went ahead and reimbursed okay those were not contemplated when you entered into this contract when you defined your contract price right take it so at that point of time you did not contemplate this incidental expenses take it so one second so you did not contemplate these expenses at the end of the project you can always go and reimburse for yourself this incidental expenses but the contract price throughout the project remains the same and it is prefixed price okay now there are certain concepts which are very very important performance guarantee security okay first i'll just simply explain the concept of your performance guarantee performance guarantee is a guarantee that the contractor has to take of basically that he will adhere to certain quality standards time limit okay that like say with next 6 months this much delivery of work will be done okay so next for the next one year this much delivery of the work will be done all of these will form under your performance guarantee so for this performance guarantee there will be some parallel security provided now the security provided can be in the form of any kind of bank guarantee parent company guarantee okay advance payment some money they have paid in advance okay and again parallelly advance payment guarantee and retention security as in the money paid in advance it can be retained if the quality is not adhered to okay so these are liquidated <coughs> amounts okay these are liquidated amounts and at the end of the day if you do not adhere to the quality promise or the timeline promise this money can be taken away by the employer or the owner of the project okay so this part is very important generally you will see in other types of commercial contracts we do not get these terms that there is a performance security or guarantee provided or for anything 
राइट ओनली डैमेजेस और कॉन्सिक्वेंशियल डैमेजेस एंड ऑल दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड करेक्ट ठीक है बट इन दिस केस इन ईपीसी दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बोथ इन कंसेशन एंड ईपीसी एक्चुअली विल सी यू विल कम अप फॉर दिस ऑल परफॉर्मेंस गारंटी सिक्योरिटी एंड लिक्विडेटेड बेसिकली दीज आर ऑल प्रीफिक्स लिक्विडेटेड अमाउंट्स दैट आर ऑलरेडी कैप्चर्ड इन द अग्रीमेंट ओके गॉट इट हैंड ओवर टेस्टिंग एंड कमिशनिंग आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड विद यू ओके completion date is fixed said with pause without saying this is i mean at the end of the day again these are very big projects there are lot of like money involved in it so you cannot be on the point you cannot expect to delay this now as i told you even delay in completion or any kind of basically ad- adherence to the timeline delay liquidated damages which is also like performance guarantee only a part of performance guarantee only these are pre estimated damages basically to compensate the employer for any kind of loss or damage suffered as a result of delay to the entire project right so even these are contemplated like performance guarantee and these are also captured a uh, sub contract and assignments has to be there right i mean at the end of the day such a big project cannot be expected to be carried out without assignment or subcontractors at the end of the day but then uh, the subcontractors or uh, for the subcontractors or for any third party assignment again the responsibility will go to the single point person who is it epc contractor